We work with the uh, process of blood cell formation. Uh, and so, so we have many different cell types in our blood uh, with different functions. But the common thing for these is that they are all produced from um, hematopoietic stem cells that reside in our bone marrows. So the generation of blood cells is a, an ongoing process throughout our lives. And um, we are very interested in identifying the factors that, so, so how, how can this be that, that we can actually, over so long time, generate so many cells? Uh, now, we have, in, in, when we're young and born, we have a certain composition of our blood system, but this is changing throughout age. And uh, these changes, they're associated with a lot of diseases, such as cancers, is the incidence increases a lot with age. Um, and, you know, we think that if we can understand what is actually happening with age and these gradual changes, uh, we can also start to understand why these diseases are much more common uh, in the aging situation. Blood-forming stem cells that are located in the bone marrow uh, are extremely rare cells. So it's only about one in a 50,000 or one in 100,000 of all your bone marrow cells that actually are stem cells. And this puts a lot of technical demands and, and challenges because normally when you characterize cells, uh, different type of techniques and assays are not developed for those type of small cell numbers. So it's a constant challenge to try to keep up with biochemical analysis and analysis of DNA and RNA in such, preferably at the actually single cell level. The latest um, breakthrough, I would say, um, so we very recently published uh, and reported on a, a study where we took old blood cells uh, and then used uh, cellular reprogramming um, and then we generated new animals uh, from these cells and thereby creating a new blood system. So. In principle, the cells are very old, but we convert them back to a, almost an embryonic state. Uh, and actually, the surprising finding here was now that these cells are behaving as young cells, uh, which indicates that actually um, old theories about like, that aging associates with driver mutations in DNA uh, perhaps is not so generally applicable. We are currently having a, a large ongoing project in the lab uh, to try to uh, find out more uh, how blood cell formation is maintained in steady state. So in our field a lot of, of um, results and historical data has been derived from experimental model systems that are perhaps not that um, physiologically relevant. Uh, and so we are trying to approach this uh, using some new genetic tools and, and transgenic animals. The relationship between uh, disease development and especially uh, leukemia development uh, and the cell types that we are studying is quite well established. But there are a lot of details that are unknown uh, as to the exact identity of where these diseases arises. So what I hope uh, to achieve with my research is to get a clearer overview of what are actually the cells that uh, are subjected to this uh, lesions that, that eventually lead to, to the disease. Uh, and if we can understand both the diseased cells but also the normal cells, I think that it will be a big chance that we can identify some targets and therapies that, that really can, can help to eradicate these diseases. So there are so many driving forces. I mean, this is really one aspect. So working in academia, for instance, uh, we have a lot of students. I find it very stimulating to have and see the development of people. Um, so, for instance, a PhD student that, that is in my lab for five years, uh, you can see when they come, they're young and inexperienced, they, they have a certain developmental progress throughout this period of time. Um, as for the, the work itself and the biology itself, I mean, we constantly have encounter new things and we learn things on a daily basis. Uh, and I, I think that that is the biggest motivation factor is you know, that you're working in unknown territories, that you, you get to answer questions that people haven't really been able to answer before.